What is up guys, here back with another YouTube video, and today's video we're talking about a massive ramp up in severe weather with a big severe weather event expected for the Dakotas, and a big time increase in the tropics. Let's get right into this video. Now if we take a look at the severe weather, for the day 2 severe weather risk we have a slight risk of severe storms in effect today across North Dakota, Montana, and portions of South Dakota regions including Bismarck, uh, Jamestown, all the way over to Minot areas, under this severe weather risk that we do have an effect for tomorrow. Even though there's only a slight risk of severe storms for tomorrow, I do think it could definitely be a pretty significant severe weather event. As if we look at the models here, this is the HRRR for tomorrow, we're going to have an absolute ton of instability the, a ton of instability in these regions, up to 5,500 Cape in some spots here, maybe even almost 6,000 Cape in some spots as these storms occur, most likely from 5 to 6 uh, into the overnight hours across portions of North Dakota into South Dakota. And I do think some spots here could get upgraded to even a enhanced risk of severe weather. If we look at the models here, this could form as supercells bringing some significant hailers in portions of North Dakota, North Dakota regions, and then form into a potential big time line of storms. This thing shows a derecho, which is absolutely insane, but a huge line of storms producing really damaging winds. So it could start its hail and tornadoes and then develop into a line of damaging winds and hail. That's why I'm definitely concerned about this risk right here, as it could definitely get upgraded to an enhanced risk. So definitely be prepared for that in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota regions, as we have a ton of instability in the atmosphere that will aid to a lot of thunderstorm development in these regions. Now, day three severe weather risk is especially concerning as even enhanced risk of severe storms on day three, which is pretty rare, showing it could potentially get upgraded to a moderate risk or to stay as an enhanced risk. And this is going to be probabilities of significant, dangerous, severe weather here across Grand Forks and Fargo regions and Aberdeen and portions of northern South Dakota, portions of uh, North Dakota and portions of Minnesota in this regions and Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota and Iowa areas in the slight risk of severe storms. So this is definitely a really, really concerning threat as I mean, we could definitely see some very significant severe weather in these regions. Now, it's kind of difficult for me to get the best uh, look for where the storms are going to occur because it is still so far out and we don't have most of the long range models out yet. But this is just the GFS model, which isn't a model that shows thunderstorm development, but it will show the instability. And this is showing an extreme surplus of instability on Friday in the evening hours, up to 6,000 convective available potential energy in some spots. Now, we can see storms develop in only a 1,500 instability. This is almost 6,000 instability in some spots here, showing we could see rampant thunderstorm development into huge storms. We could definitely see a really dangerous severe weather outbreak. That's why that enhanced risk of severe storms is in effect across the Dakotas and the Minnesota regions, especially here near Fargo and the bullseye, that severe weather risk as d dangerous storms are, are expected. And we will get more information once we get closer to this, and I will definitely be live for that. Now, if we look at the flash flooding risks that we do have today, we have a slight risk of flash flooding in effect today across portions of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina regions. Um, and the Weather Prediction Center is very, very concerned about this as they're hinting at the potential for an upgrade to a moderate risk, three out of four of flash flooding, where some dangerous flash flooding could be possible with an up to five inches of training thunderstorms in some spots. So definitely be weather aware here in Charlotte, Raleigh, Florence, Charleston, and Savannah and Brunswick areas into Wilmington and Greenville and Greensboro regions under this flash flooding risk. Now, if we take a look at the models for this flash flooding potential, the storms uh, that we do have to watch will be right on this area of your screen right there in the South Carolina, North Carolina regions. And the model, the HRR is definitely hinting at some big time thunderstorm development as we already have rain occurring in portions of the Carolinas right now. And they're showing more thunderstorm development to develop here in North, portions of South Carolina and North Carolina in the afternoon to, to early evening hours, especially from 2 to 3 all the way to 7 p.m. time frame. And these could be slow moving thunderstorms that train over the same areas over and over again. So if they do issue a moderate risk of flash flooding, it could definitely be here near the Wilmington regions, especially uh, near the coastal areas where we could see some very, very heavy rainfall, even in the even into tomorrow, as we are going to be seeing a lot of rainfall. I mean, the HRR is hinting at potentially um, up to five inches of rain in some spots, as we could see a lot and a lot of rain, especially centered in South Carolina and North Carolina. So stay safe and turn around and don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Now, the first thing with the tropics that we are going to take a look at is Tropical Storm Dexter that we do have over here, which is currently has wind speeds of 52 miles an hour and a, and a pressure of 999 millibars. This is a pretty organized system and is expected to strengthen as it heads towards the north 
and east here over the North Atlantic Ocean. Now, this is not expected to bring impact anywhere towards the U.S. It's expected to just become a complete fish storm and not really impact any humans. So I'm not too concerned about Tropical Storm De Dexter as it becomes a fish storm. But I actually am paying attention to this tropical disturbance that we do have here over towards portions of the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, really close to South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia areas, with a 30% chance of tropical development on day 7 with this system. Now, a lot of the models are saying this will also be another fish storm, which means it only impacts the fish. No humans are impacted by this tropical system, as a lot of the models are saying it's just going to head towards the east and really not impact anyone whatsoever on the East Coast, which is a pretty good sign for the system, but I do expect it to become a tropical system as it moves towards the North. I just don't know how significant it will be, but most likely a tropical storm to a low-end hurricane. Now, the, system, the tropical disturbance that I'm keeping an eye on a little more is this tropical disturbance that we do currently have, which is really, really off the coast of Africa currently as it heads towards portions of the Southern Atlantic Ocean regions. This is a huge... Um, area where we do have a 60% chance of tropical disturbance of a tropical disturbance forming over the next seven days so there's a pretty good chance a medium chance but a pretty good chance that this is going to become a tropical system as it heads through the Atlantic Ocean and it's got plenty of warm waters to really develop here but as you can see it just moves north the models and the National Hurricane Center is showing this is just going to be another fish storm all this is going to be fish storms as it moves towards the north and east here this could definitely develop into a hurricane maybe even a big time hurricane it's just really not going to impact anyone whatsoever if it does it could be bermuda potentially but i do not think it's going to really impact bermuda at all and really just stay in the middle of that atlantic ocean but the main thing that we are seeing from this is that the tropics are definitely firing up here and definitely getting more intense this is not none of this is going to impact the u.s yet but that could definitely change once we get later into the months. I hope everybody did enjoy this video. We are definitely going to be seeing a huge in increase in severe weather and maybe some dangerous, significant severe weather events over the next few days or so on the 7th and the 8th of August here that we are going to be concerned about on Thursday and Friday. Definitely could be some big impacts with that storms there. And I will definitely be live with that system there too, especially in the Dakotas as some dangerous storms are expected. And then some flash flooding risks in the Carolinas and an increase in the tropics, especially focused into the Atlantic Ocean that you do need to be prepared about. Um, it's not looking like anything is going to impact the U.S. right now in ways of the tropics, but definitely be prepared. Hope you guys enjoy this video and bye everybody.